Hi everybody, this is Pulkit Chhabla and in this video we'll be discussing the template that I use uh, during competitive programming contests. Uh, there were a lot of comments in the previous videos asking me to go through the template once. So I thought of making the video about that. Yeah, so without further ado, let's get to the template and see what each thing means and how it helps me. Yeah, so the first line, I think it's pretty clear. It's just including this library and these two lines I'll explain you later. This is just using the namespace std and in these uh, some of the lines uh, I'm just using them to make my life a little easier. I'll just have to type ff instead of first every time and ss instead of second. And in this particular line, I am defining int as long long because it happens uh, many number of times that uh, we need to use long long instead of int so that there is no overflow. So uh, to avoid forgetting, you know, replacing it by long long, I just defined int to be long long. I'll just use int in my every code and uh, I'll be good to go, right? And pb is for pushback uh, in the vector. If you want to push back some values, I'll simply write pb. And uh, when I'm dealing with pairs, I generally need making pairs. I use mp instead of make pair. And uh, pii for pair int int, bi for vector int, mii for map int int, and pqb and pqs are for max heaps and min heaps. Right, and this set bits, uh, set bits uh, is for uh, built in pop count. It basically tells me the number of set bits in a number. Let's say uh, if the number is 5, and we know that the representation of 5 is going to be uh, 1, 0, 1, right? Yeah, if I simply print set bits of 5. it will give me two, right? And the next line, which is Z arrow bits, it just uh, basically tells us what are the, you know, uh, let's say if I have 10, I know that 10's binary representation is going to be 1010. And if I print Z arrow bits 10, it will give me the number of zeros before the first one from the right. It will give me one. For let's say if I'm talking about 16, I know the binary representation is going to be one double zero double zero, right? Let's say uh, we talk about 16 plus 32, which is 48, right? Yeah, and then I'll just add this one. Uh, in this case, I'll be getting uh, four because before the first one from the right, there are four zeros. Z arrow bits 48 will give me four, I think. Yeah, it's giving me four, right? So I defined more mod to be 10 raised to power 9 plus 7 because there are several questions in which we are not supposed to calculate the answer, cal calculate the actual answer, but we need answer percent uh, mod. So I simply, you know, defined it beforehand so that I don't have to define it in every code, de define it every time. And infinity is defined as 10 raised to power 18 and psxy is for it happens certain time uh, certain number of times that you know uh, the co the question says that print the value of answer and answer is a double value and uh, it tells us that the precision should be 10 raised to power minus 6 like the relative error should not be more than uh, 10 raised to power minus 6 in that case basically let's say our answer is uh, 1.05 something something and uh, uh, it should be double if i simply print ps answer comma six it will give me the answer up to six decimal places yeah six decimal places right so uh, the next and uh, it basically is a short type for uh, making a dynamic array uh, just mk error and the size of the array and then its type uh, so if i write mk arr n int it will basically give me an array of integer array of size right and then this is a useful one uh, it happens certain uh, it happens a lot a lot of times that uh, we are to answer multiple test cases, right? So in the start, I would have all, I would uh, need to write int t, c in t, then y t minus minus. Instead of writing that, I'll simply, 
you know write uh, while wt and do something let's say c out one and if i give to the input uh, five then it will simply run five times and one will be printed right five times yeah as simple as that uh, yeah and this one is useful for uh, the cases in the cases when i you know need to make some shuffling it basically very randomly shuffles an array uh, an array or a vector or a range right let's say i have an array one second let's say I have an array of size n not let's say n is 5 and the values that i am using are 0 to 4 and let's say uh, the input is 5 which means it will the loop will run 5 times i want to basically shuffle the array and then i'll simply write rng over here and then i'll simply print the array Yeah, so you can see it randomly shuffled the array each time and uh, it is basically the best random shuffler available uh, and you can rely on it you can copy it and that's it yeah so uh, the next line is something called something for uh, the next line is for something called policy based data structure uh, and these two lines were also used to you know include the library that is required for policy based data structure uh, it is a very useful thing it comes very it, it proves to be very useful number of times if, if you know there is a data structure called set in uh, C++ and in which I can you know insert some elements delete some elements and find if the element is present in that particular array or not uh, in that particular data structure or not then i can find the smallest element uh, that is greater than or equal to a particular number and so on uh, you can read what the set is so the uh, you know the uh, additional features which this uh, data structure with this pvds provides me uh, in addition to the set is that i can uh, you know uh, randomly access the elements i can access the elements by index or i can find that on what index is a particular element present and it keeps all of the elements sorted let's say uh, mm, i make a pbds s and then i insert five then i insert one let me copy it five times yeah then two then uh, three then four okay now if i you know just simply write c out uh, s dot order of key let's say three then it will give me two i guess because it's zero based indexing it will give me two because in the sorted or order the index of three will be two uh, if i write instead of order of key I think I don't exactly remember. I think it's find by order. Find by order three, then it will give me four, right? Okay. It says yeah. It it it. I think returns as the iterator to the element. If I I'll simply you know need to write here star. see now it is 4 and if it was 4 then it will print 5 yeah so in this pbds we can insert elements we can erase elements we can simply uh, you know say s dot erase 5 or something and uh, uh, it will delete the duplicates if we you know insert 5 twice twice it will uh, 
कंटेन फाइव वंस ओनली बेसिकली ऑल द अदर फंक्शनैलिटीज आर सेम एज द सेट वी जस्ट हैव टू एडिशनल फंक्शनैलिटीज दैट इज फाइंड बाई ऑर्डर एंड ऑर्डर ऑफ की द ऑर्डर ऑफ की गिवज अस दू नो इंडेक्स ऑफ द एलिमेंट दैट वी यू नो वन अ सर्च इफ द एलिमेंट इज नॉट प्रेजेंट इन दैट सेट इट विल बेसिकली गिव अस द इंडेक्स दैट Uh, it would have had if it was present in the set say for example our pbds was 1 2 3 and 5 and if we search for uh, you know uh, if we, if we uh, search the order of key 4 then if we know it would have uh, entered 4 into the pbds the array would have been the pbds would have been 1 2 3 4 5 right uh, and the order would have been 3 then it would simply give us Three, right? Uh, we can try it. Uh, we have erased s dot. Uh, we have erased five, right? Let's now try to see out order of key five. I think it will uh, give us four because if we insert five, then its order is going to be four. Yeah, it's four, right? So these, this was my. Uh, template instead of uh, in addition to all this i have this function called cpc uh, coder pulkit c is basically my username on code forces and other website this is by cpc uh, then uh, this is for file input output this is uh, i have another video uh, i have uploaded another video you can uh, look or look at that to know how these uh, input output works and this is basically for fast input output in the case of you know multiple Values to be input or output, right? So uh, this int thirty two t I am using because if I write int here, it will give an error because I have defined int as long long. So that's why I am just using int thirty two t instead of int. Yeah, that's it, guys. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.